Hello and welcome back. Um, we're going to be working with lists now. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer and you can see I've added uh, some clouds up high here. Actually three clouds. Uh, the clouds are actually found, if I click on library, uh, they're under nature. And then if I click other on the end you can see there's uh, three different types of clouds here. All I did is I pulled the cloud in and then I just dragged it up to the level I wanted it at, which was, and actually what I also did is I think I resized some of them so they're a little bit bigger. I'll put this one kind of over here. Um, the second thing I did is once I got the clouds uh, up in the sky there, I right clicked them and I gave them a name. This one is cloud zero, uh, this one is cloud one, obviously this one is going to be cloud two, and I think I'll call this one Cloud 3, not Cloud 1. one. There we go. And make sure you turn them all on so we can use them. Okay, so if I click play on here and I look up, you can see the clouds are kind of in the sky up there. Now obviously a house would normally have a roof on it, but uh, anyway, this is just going to give you an idea of how to um, be adding a little bit more realism into your scene and using lists to do that. Okay, so let's go back here. This time, what we're going to do um, is we are going to be clicking on our code icon there, and we're going to be using our very first code blocks here to make a bit more efficient use of space. So what we want to do is I am going to click on, sorry about my fan actually, it's, you might be able to hear it, it's a bit loud, my computer's running a bit hot. Um, if I scroll down on the side here, you can see there's our data right there, and we're going to be using a new data uh, function here. So I just go a little bit lower, keep going down past variables, there is this area called lists, and you can see it right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag out create an empty list, create empty list, and we're going to call the list clouds. Pretty self-explanatory. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all the different clouds inside this list right here. To do that, um, it's pretty easy. All you do is you drag out add. Um, I'm going to duplicate it uh, four times right there. Just right clicking uh, on my mouse or two finger clicking my trackpad and duplicating. And I'm going to add, I'm just going to click on the little down arrow, cloud zero. I'm going to add cloud one. I'm going to add cloud two. And I'm going to add cloud three. So all of these clouds now are added into this list. So whenever I use just the the word uh, clouds, okay, it, what it's going to do is it's going to contain all of these items here, okay. So what we're going to do now is what we we want to do is we want something to happen to those clouds, obviously, and. What we're going to do is we're going to click on control right here and I'm just going to scroll down a tiny bit under loops and you can see there's this uh, orange one down here that says for each element in something in its variable. So I'm going to drag that out and I'm going to place it on the bottom. So for each element in clouds, okay, so for each element in clouds, these are the elements inside clouds, the list clouds here. These are all the elements here. Um, we want we want them to do something and I want them to move. I want them to move across the sky. So I'm going to click on transform. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit until I get to move right here. It's under tra transitions right there. And I'm going to pull that out. And um, for each element in clouds, move, well I don't want to move the orange cat. I want to move the element right here. I want to move all of these things. So I need to go all the way back down to data, way down here. I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to grab this little scroll bar on the side, and I'm just going to pull down just a little bit farther until I get to variables. And I'm going to drag this out right here, and I'm going to put it inside there, and I'm going to change this from clouds to element. For each element in clouds, move element, element are these, one meter forward in one second. So I don't think one meter forward is going to cut it. I think maybe seven meters. Uh, let's try to the right in, uh, maybe not seven meters, maybe 17 meters to the right in 
I don't know, 17 seconds. I have no idea how that's going to look. So let's click play and see what this actually does. So let's look up. Okay, so one cloud is moving. Now what's going to happen is one cloud is going to move all the way over there. It's going to stop. And then the next cloud is going to move. So that's kind of not really how I want it to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a little different code block in here. I'm going to click on, uh, I think actually is it under events no sorry it's under uh, it's under other right here you can see under other there is a little tiny block called run separately so I'm going to drag run separately out and I'm going to put this inside of it so what this is going to do is it, it's going to run each element at the same time and I'll show you what uh, sorry, right, it's going to run the element, each one of these, at, at the exactly the same time. So let's let's see what that actually looks like. So it's going to look up, and you can see all the clouds move at the same time. Right? So they're they're running separately. Perfect. So the clouds are kind of moving across the sky, and they'll probably just keep going. I don't know how far they'll go. Well, 17 meters. So. I go back here. So if you want something to run one at a time, um, you're not going to use this. Um, but if you want to run at the same time, you're going to use this run separately right here. And um, in the next uh, video, I will demonstrate uh, what that looks like when you don't, perhaps, don't use the run separately. Okay, um, we'll talk again soon.